Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Golovich. And I'm Kurt Sorge. We're here on Vancouver Island mountain biking, and we're gonna show you how to get those epic trail shots with the Hero 4 session. Along with some of the cool new mounts from GoPro. When you're shooting mountain biking, it's important to shoot a good combination of POV and non-POV shots. The POV is great for showing off your perspective or unique angles of mountain biking, but the non-POV shots are equally important to break up the action a little bit. Since we're riding downhill trails, it's always good to set the scene with a shot of us hiking our bikes up the trails. Set up the drop cam? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm going to place the GoPro on the ground, halfway in the water, and shoot it facing down the trail. I'm going to use the GoPro app to preview the shot and change the modes. This might be a killer shot to shoot in oh. slow motion, so I'm going to set the clip to 1080 60. This will be good. Just walk through here. Let me know when you're recording. Alright. We're going to use three different cameras each this run to capture a variety of different angles. The first two locations are pretty standard for mountain biking. I'm going to mount to the front of my helmet under the visor with the frame and vertical mounting buckle. And one to the seat post of my bike with the handlebar seat post pole mount using the standard frame. For the third angle, I'm going to change things up and use the new strap by GoPro. By using the strap, we can capture a unique angle not usually seen with mountain biking. With the rotating mount, you can adjust your camera 360 degrees, so get creative with where you aim it. Since we're running so many cameras at once, we like to trigger them with a smart remote. It's time to shred. Since these are all POV angles, I recommend that you shoot in 1440 at 30 frames per second. Filming in this resolution gives you much more immersive perspective because it utilizes the full height of the camera sensor. Use your GoPro app or smart remote to expand the full list of camera features. When you reach interesting parts of the trail, consider stopping and putting a drop cam down on the trail. For any non-POV shots, I recommend using 1080-60 if light permits. Oh yeah, that's the shot. Highlight this thing for sure. Let's use this break in the action to change up the mounts a little bit for our second run on the trail. We're going to put on chesties using the standard frame and vertical mounting buckle. Next, we're going to move our seat post cams into the fork using the roll bar mount. Next, we're going to relocate our wrist cams. I'm going to put mine on my leg and Kurt's going to put his on his forearm. Let's go for another lap. Phew. Let's do it. Mm. This leaves us with a lot of unique and different angles of our trail ride. So now we just need some kind of ending. The shot's gonna be sick! This can be done with a drop cam, a high five, bones, whatever you want. Now that we have all this awesome footage, it becomes super easy to put together a quick edit using GoPro Studio to show with your friends. You can hit your highlight tags and use included templates to make a killer edit. That's it from Vancouver Island, guys. Hope you guys picked up some good tips on how to use your new GoPro Hero 4 session out on the trails. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to check back soon for more updates. See you See on the, the trails. Everything you know, everything you plan, all your tactics like match six go Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Gelovich. And I'm Kurt Sorge. We're here on Vancouver Island. <laughs> Along with some of the rad new mounts from GoPro. <laughs>